Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about IXL BB7 solving quadratic equations using uh, the zero product property. So it's a pretty simple property, especially on IXL it gets even easier. Uh, the property, the zero product property tells us when we have two terms multiplied together and if they're equal to zero, either the first one or the second one would be equal to zero. That's what this product, uh, th that this property tells us. It's either x equals zero or y equals zero. There's no other way. One of them should be zero. So let's get back to questions. Solve for g, where we have two products within parentheses and the result equals to zero. So that means it's either again same comp uh, concept. Either this one equals to zero or that one equals to zero. We are going to set them basically up. Uh, to 0 separately and then the other one is g minus 4 equals 0 so to get the g by itself over here we add 5 so g equals 5 is our first solution and add 4 in here to get it by itself g equals 4 that's our second solution 5 and 4 would be the numbers we need let's see if it says put the smaller one or the greater one first it doesn't say that so we submit our answer next question this one here either the first one equals to zero or the second one so if n minus one is zero by adding one because i have minus one the first solution would be one the second equation is n plus three equals zero and then just solve it. What do you need for this to be 0? If n is negative 3, when you plug it in, it is going to be equal to 0. So 1 and negative 3 are the answers for this question. Now, basically all we do is change the sign of the number in the parentheses, to be honest. Let's, let's, uh, for this one, the solution that comes out of the first one is going to be positive 6. From the second one, it is going to be negative 6. Change the sign of the number. That's your shortcut. Okay, where's my keyboard? Let me see. So the first one is 6. The second one is negative 6. For this, okay, the first one, what will come out of this is t equals positive 6 because we have a negative 6 in there change the sign uh, that's the shortcut from here what comes out is t set that up equal to 0 and then to find that t equals 6 what we need to do is the same to be honest we just do t minus 6 equals 0 just like like the logic behind them is the same set it up equal to 0 but there's nothing to solve in here it's already solved that's our solution t equals 0 and then from here uh, we will end up with that. So 0 and 6 are our solutions for this. 0 and 6. There we go. Let's just skip some levels and see if it gets harder. Okay. So, yes, it gets harder. The, from the first one, this is easy. When you only have one z, you just change the sign. z equals negative 5. From here, z equals negative 5 that's our number but then I need to divide it by how many z's I have I have four z's and then that four z is going to be equal to negative 5 one of them is going to be divided by 4 so let's just do the math and find that answer I just don't want to show you that way without doing the actual work 4z plus 5 equals 0 step 1 subtract 5 that's why we keep changing the sign that's why we have this negative 5 because it turns into negative look at this that's that's the same negative 5 and then 4z so if it was just 1z and then I would just stop there and then z would be equal to negative 5 but in my parentheses up, up here it's 4z not just 1z to find one of their values uh, if 4 of them is negative 5 one of them is just divided by 4 so divide each side by 4 so z equals negative 5 over 4 uh, does it say fraction? Either integers, integers are whole numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
and then uh, also negatives negative 1, negative 2, negative 11, 0 is included to integers uh, or proper or improper fractions so fractions are fine if the, if we cannot put decimals don't put decimals in there according to the instructions uh, yeah that's it z equals negative 5, z equals negative 5 over 4 and then to get to this result all you do is z plus 5 equals 0 subtract 5 and then z oops now I just moved the page let's see if I can take it back oh my whatever so these will be cancelled out and then z equals negative 5 that's how you get it and let's just skip one mo more level and see if it gets even harder no not at all let me see what happens in the next level nothing happens it's the same thing the question the numbers are the same too uh let's see okay and then let's let's do this one too uh okay because this looks different at least so set this up equal to zero and then set that up equal to zero negative nine plus five oh negative nine m plus five equals zero and then the second equation is going to be 4m plus 5 equals zero so using the shortcuts that I have been mentioning the answer to this is going to be change the sign of that number it is negative 5 and then divide it by the number of variables you have I have negative 9 of them so divide it by negative 9 negative 5 over negative 9 is the same as 5 over 9 that would be one of the values of them and the shortcut for this one uh, so m equals change the sign of the number in the end make it negative 5 divided by how many m's you have I have four of them so that would be my second solution I cannot simplify it anymore let's just do the work now uh, okay so subtract 5 negative 9 m equals negative 5 divide everything by negative 9 so m equals the division of two negatives gives you a positive 5 over 9 same solution okay over here subtract 5 and divide by 4 negative 5 and divide it by 4 there we go m equals negative 5 over 4 so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching and let me know if you have any other questions and I'll see you in another video